Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is a random reading, which is timeless. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone to this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. So yeah, random reading out here in nature. Not quite a nature read. I mean, it could be. Anyways, this is a timeless reading, so whoever catches this, maybe something in here will resonate with you. Let's find out. Okay, we have the White Sage Tarot here. We're going to go ahead and get general energy for whoever is catching this video. General energy. Remember, you guys, take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't manifest weird stuff into your life, okay? Yeah. <laughs> we have the Empress. Awesome. So, somebody's in the Empress energy. You know, this is like all about perfection in femininity. All right, this is about somebody who, uh, you know, stands tall. Um, wears the crown proudly. You know, this is somebody who takes on all the traits of all the queens. Ram, all rolled into one. Let's see what else is going on with you. Now, if this is not you... This could be somebody in your environment, okay? Let's see what we have here, what came out first. We have the Ace of Swords, so there is some truth a new start in truth because you know when you want to start new things you want it to be honest truthful right we do have a knight of pentacles in the reverse though it might be coming from somebody who is not quite balanced uh but there's a message coming in and this message involves truth all right uh it may not be the kind of truth you wanted to hear but it's truth nonetheless <clears throat> Ten of Pentacles. So we have somebody here that might be messaging you about not having any sort of financial or whatever, right? And they might be seeing you as somebody who is uh, in the Ten of Pentacles energy. All right, we have the Ace of Swords here. This is the truth. Somebody may be coming to ask for some cash or some money. We also have the Queen of Cups. That's who may be sending the message. Somebody who is a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Male or female energy doesn't matter. So, yeah. That's what I'm seeing here. So far, anyways. I'm also seeing that somebody may come in with a message lying about having abundance too that might also be something here um but we do have the knight of cups in the upright so they might be doing this because they feel love for somebody the problem is uh they don't know how else to ex you know to explain their love for the person except you know that oh can you help me can you do that you know like that's where they think that love is like they think that when people give to them that the people love them. But that's not love, okay? That's So somebody here may have been taught as a child that, oh, if someone gives you gifts and, and things and money or whatever, whatnot, they love you. That's, that's not true, okay? We also have a King of Cups here, so there's also, uh, so there's a couple here, all right? Now the Queen of Cups could be you, all right? The Queen of Cups is, is in some decks, uh, is the Empress, just to let you know, in case you didn't 
when you do card amounts, see? Um, not tarot, but cards like these. The Queen of Cups is the Empress. Okay, the King of Cups is not uh, the Emperor, though. <laughs> okay, so let's not get confused here. Look what we have at the bottom of the deck, you guys. We have the Devil. So somebody might not be doing the right things, might be having some codependencies, like I told you. Um, this person might think, oh, if they give me stuff, they love me. That's, no, that's not love. That's buying love. So, there's a trauma that somebody needs to overcome. <clears throat> so, we're going to set these aside. I want to know what this truth can be about. This is the bicycle fire deck. Tell me about that, Ace of Swords. We have the Ten of Cups. So the truth is that somebody does love another person. I told you. And it might be they love them because they know they give them things. Right? Um, but there's been a lot of battles with this person. Fighting, arguing, bickering. But, you know, there's still one battle left. <laughs> That's what they usually say. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. What is this message? Yeah, this is a message of there's, you know, somebody's reminiscing about somebody from the past. That had to do with some sort of stability. It may not have been very good stability, though. That's what I'm catching here. So somebody may have been uh, went to go shack up with a Queen of Pentacles, but uh, and, and there was victory there. There was victory there. So someone was able to find someone from the past to take care of them, to buy them things and give them things where they thought this was love. Okay, but something may have happened here in this Ten of Pentacles energy. What happened in this Ten of Pentacles energy? Because Ten of Pentacles is forever. I love you forever. Together forever. Longevity. You know? We have the Five of Swords here. So there's been some lies about longevity. Somebody may have a lot of options. Yeah, somebody here may have a lot of options in order, and, and options to, see, I mean, look, three-party situation. So somebody's fooling around with people who are financially stable, who have some dough. Um, that's how they survive, is what I'm seeing here. The person we're talking about could have fire in his chart. Or they could be trying to manifest something in regards to finances. But the truth is that somebody is in, uh, wanting a Ten of Cups or is in a Ten of Cups energy. And there's a lot of fighting going on there. And it could be because somebody's going around doing things. Treating people like options. <clears throat> Maybe this person has a lot of options. And you know... It's like every time I think about that kind of stuff, it's kind of gross because they're going around with so many people and just spreading whatever. Ugh. I can't, you guys. <laughs> I can't do it. Anyhow. Just going to go ahead and shuffle the fire cards a couple times. Alright, so the next two cards that we have that came out are the Queen of Cups. This is the one who, you know, has some sort of truth with the money. And the Knight of Cups, this is a person, they're non, this is a non-committal person, okay, and so is the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, so this person might be, uh, might have Earth and Water in their chart. Earth being Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Water being Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, this person is looking to have you know, longevity somewhere. Um, they may be dealing with a Queen of Cups here, though, you know. Um, or they could be dealing... Oh, shoot, you guys. Because we got the King of Cups right here. Look. This is the third-party situation. A couple... Or maybe more. Maybe more people here, yeah. 
Yeah, let, let's let's find out who is this Queen of Cups real quick. Who is this Queen of Cups? I'm taking it. Maybe the Queen of Cups is you. All right, maybe, possibly. If not, somebody that you know. You know, you're you are one of these people. So you got to figure out who you play in this in this uh, story. If you do, it doesn't always resonate. Okay. It just might sound familiar. Yeah. See, the King of Pentacles is sending out a message. You know, there's no money. All right. He is also in the reverse. This person might also be. You know, if they get money. They get it by doing crime. They get it from stealing from people, right? Now, it could be stealing hearts, because look, we have the Ace of Cups. Somebody may have stolen this Queen of Cups heart, okay? And it could have been this King of Pentacles, this person who gets their money by crime, you know, by um, unfavorable means, you know? What about this Knight of Cups? This Knight of Cups. What is the message? What is the message from the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups? Okay. There's a lot of competition or defensiveness, okay, with these messages. So there's going to be a little tension going back and forth between individuals. Somebody, but, the, but somebody doesn't want to fight. This is the thing, though. They don't want to fight anymore. So somebody's done with the fighting. They know that that's what they're headed for when they come and, re and give this message, but they don't want to. And it could be this uh, King of Pentacles. This person is, is could be kind of manipulative. I'm just saying, look at that ant right there. You see that? That's a big ass ant too. It's a red one or a yellow one, orange one. I don't know. Did you guys see that? Anyhow. So yeah. And you know, I haven't seen one in a while. So that's guy, he's a oh my gosh, he is a trooper. He is just I still see him. <laughs> Anyhow, you guys, let's put these back. And let's find out a little bit more about what that King of Cups is doing here. Cause we know his involvement is with the Queen of Cups. This is a couple. It's usually a married couple. Somebody in a long-standing relationship. They're both in the upright, too. So it's not like, you know, they're unhappy. They're both loved up and happy, you know. I mean, that's the truth there, I would assume. But there is some love. Somebody might be focused a lot on money. Tell us about this King of Cups. Four of Swords. Death. This is the death card. Somebody could be receiving money because somebody may have passed. Somebody may be contemplating about the ending of a relationship or a situation, a job, a friendship. What else with this King of Cups? This person is unable to create any sort of stability for themselves. So somebody may have lost their job. And he's trying to think about how he can bring that back. So there is, you know, there is a happy couple here. Right? There is a happy couple here. There was an ending to something involving this King of Cups who is with this Queen of Cups. And the truth is, that, you know, there's love between them too, right? But there, the King of Cups is also fixated on the money, how to make the money. He may have lost his job or something having to do with their income was lost, okay? And they're try, he's trying to figure out how he can bring that back. But he, I, I think he's do, he wants to do it by means of, you know, unfavorable means, you know? Like being that person who goes around with people, manipulates them, and 
does whatever they can to get money off of whoever. And that's what this guy is always doing, continuously trying to find ways to make money uh, after endings, 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 because he's just manipulating people. But he's married, and but he does this, like, that's his... He's like a con man. He like knows how to con people, and that's what he does for a living, to keep his love going uh, truthfully with this Queen of Cups. I mean, that's how they started anyways. Somebody could also, what I'm getting, be feeling tired of this kind of lifestyle. Um, this King of Cups may be treating this Queen of Cups like the Empress, like she is all that in a bag of chips, you know, because that's the energy you're in. But what is this person doing? What is the Queen of Cups doing in order to support family and all that? I mean, what is her, what's her role in keeping things afloat? <clears throat> well, it, it, we have the Three of Swords in reverse, so at least it's not a heartbreaking thing. She's not mourning over losses of relationships. And she's, so she's a communicator of some sort. Maybe she's some sort of um, healer this person is with. Or something like that. Or she may be telling this person that she's done with this relationship and she's ready to go start passionately somewhere else. Because this person has been doing that to keep the relationship afloat, the, the finances and all that. And that's, you know spreading their love around and all that that's dangerous for her you know what about unwanted pregnancies I and mean, she doesn't even really know what he's doing out there but he's not pulling in the dough and any dough he is pulling in it's by doing crime or something like that there's toxicity here so there's addictions and drug use so I mean this person might even be going out and doing all that to support their habit. Yeah, to support a habit that's been a big burden in their life. And they lie a lot. They lie, they may be lying to a Leo. Wheel of Fortune. So, yeah, trip out, right? So, let's just put these back. I'm going to pull three cards from the Gypsy uh, deck. Alright. And we're going to say what the Gypsies have to say about this situation, you know. I'm also seeing that, you know, whoever is in this Empress energy... There is no um, chance of stability for you as long as you stay in a toxic situation. There's no chance of stability, longevity, nothing. You will never receive that message that, oh, you got the job, or oh, you won the money, or oh, nothing. You won't because you're in a toxic situation. And it's just filled with a lot of passion, you know. Um, it might even be filled with lust, which is not very healthy and not very spiritual, I guess. I don't know. Let's see what the gypsies have to say about this. What do you have to say about this reading for whoever is catching it? message I told you I told you message we have two message cards and then we had the Queen of Cups wanting to have conversation with somebody you know <sighs> widower 
There may have been a death. Remember that we saw there was an ending. So the King of Cups may receive a message about a Queen of Cups who's passed. Mm -hmm. And there you have it. Inheritance. That's where the longevity comes in. You see that how 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 trippy these cards end up? Look, somebody's going to receive a message of a death. It's going to be somebody's spouse and then they go get the money. Let's hope it's not anything having to do with um, fraud or, you know, life insurance fraud or something. I really hope not. We do see the Queen of Cups waving as in could be waving to goodbye. So that's what I have for this reading. It's I feel kind of sadish a little bit right now. You know, I don't know. Maybe somebody's gonna be sad that somebody has passed. You know, even regardless of receiving the money, I feel like this person may did you know did love the other person or something like that. I don't know. Um, but you know, you guys just take what resonates. Leave the rest. Don't manifest this stuff. You know, don't be all tripped out and worried about your spouse or whatever. Just live life, you know. Um, if it resonated, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Also, keep it true love energy, okay? Happy, friendly, loving types. We have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful. I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll talk to you next time.